Now I'm going to explain for the students. As we know that whenever we are pushing or pulling any object, at that time it should rest on a surface. It is placed, it, is, it has been kept on a surface. And wherever there is a surface, a reaction force will act. And reaction force always act in the opposite direction of the weight. Now since this is a horizontal surface, weight acting down, so the reaction force will act in the upward direction. And in case of push, the reaction force will act in the upward direction too. Now, if we see that for equilibrium condition, the force, vertical force and the reaction force acting up and the weight acting down. So according to the equation, it will look like Fv plus R is equal to W and R will be equal to W minus Fv. So this will be the reaction force while pulling. If we try to see the same in case of pushing, then see reaction acting up, vertical force and the weight acting down. It means in this case reaction is equal to vertical force plus weight. Now, even if the force while pulling and pushing is same, so according to that, the vertical force for both the cases will be same. So reaction force while pulling and reaction force while pushing, which one will be more greater? From these two equations, it is very easy that reaction while pulling will be less than reaction while And since we know that this reaction force is only the explanation, the feeling of weight, since reaction force act in the upward direction, so in which case reaction will be lesser, in that case the weight felt, what we feel that will be lesser. So that's why pulling will be easier than pushing. That's it. Thank you.